How's it going, everybody? Today I'm gonna be creating the um, higher or lower game based on uh, top rated TMDB movies. So, rating if one movie or the other movie is uh, ranked higher. So, if you don't know the higher or lower game, this is it. You've probably seen it or played it yourself. So, like, is Algebra or Colosseum, is that higher or lower? So, lower. Oh, it's the same. So that's the game, uh, guessing which one is more popular. So I already created the uh, GitHub, but I'm gonna now code the um, application. So let's git clone this. Um, let's see the end to the movie guesser. And let's open code yeah now we are missing the file itself so let's let's here we have it let's download that from the kaggle that's that and now we have the file and we have the folder so we drag it over and now we have the file so let's create a very simple um, pandas data frame. So import pandas pandas pd and then csv file pandas equals pd dot read csv and then we go movies dot uh, dot csv. And I'm gonna run it on my content environment CPU new, but you create just a new environment if you want, or use an old one if you have Anaconda installed. And uh, like we can see um, here, if we display it, we see that um, this is how the file looks like. But I'm gonna be using uh, PySpark. Um, from PySpark. Um, import Spark context from PySpark.sql. Import uh, Spark session from PySpark.sql. Import uh, functions as f. And from PySpark dot as well dot functions, I'm gonna import column. Yeah, now we create the Spark context. From that, we create a Spark. Uh, so Spark session dot builder dot app name. We're gonna name it Movie Guesser. And we're gonna do get or create. So now I'm just uh, building the Spark session so you can see it in a localhost or like uh, follow what's going on in the background. This will be a small data set, so it doesn't actually matter the Spark uh, context. Um, then I'm gonna do so if we do now. Uh, we now do uh, passpark csv equals spark dot read dot csv and we read the movies dot csv that works so to pandas. Uh, no, it's not the exact. Okay, we're gonna now do spark dot con dot the correct line. Let's 
Sauce main. We're going to need this here line and this line. So we need to add a line called um, spark read escape uh, backslash and we need spark.conf.set spark sql execution error enabled so we're enabling a arrow function to uh, take uh, so we're gonna create two csv no create data frame create data frame from csv file pandas and now we have the x should have the exact same data frame here so what we did here is create data frame from the pandas uh, csv file but uh, if we would skip this these two steps so let's do that we're going to ignore read option escape backslash and escape the error function if we do that then um, the data set or the PySpark data frame becomes uh, it uh, often uh, changes to uh, the filtering is not correct so um, uh, the data goes into separate columns but we're going to enable that so it's an arrow function and then we can start so let's just look into I'm gonna rename uh, df to be no let's wait for that so I'm gonna create a df called PySpark csv dot select now we use the column uh, we created before so the id we're gonna use the title we're gonna use let's use the popularity yeah that doesn't actually matter now we're gonna ignore that column release that and we want the world tablets. And we could also use the world count. So DF2 on those looks like. So now we just uh, made a smaller sample of this. So we're ignoring a lot of columns. From the original Spice Park uh, data frame. And now we can start. So let's get two movies. DF, um, let's call it movie one. It's DF to pandas that sample. A sample takes one movie out, choose, chooses one row. So maybe like this row, just picks that one. Yeah, we're gonna need one for um, movie one and two. Now we're just gonna display that movie one and display movie two. Yeah, so we have undisputed and a pure formality. Um, but I'm gonna create a function for this so they have. Uh, get movie get two random movies. Um, I'm gonna use this, and then I'm just gonna return it. Movie one and movie two. Then I'm gonna call movie one movie two on get to run the movies and shoot yep we got two new movies and then um 
then we can just create function to get guesses and we call it with a guess and maybe we create a with vote what average movie one equals movie one vote average and vote average movie two equals movie two vote average then we say um yeah i'm just gonna print it out let's move to just so we know it's working get guesses we're gonna throw in a zero just some number okay so 6.5 5.5 okay then we can just say we're gonna say if movie one is larger if movie is larger than um uh, get just gonna create a new uh yeah check guess let's call it check guess yeah with a uh, guess and with an answer and it's a function okay if if the guess is equal to the answer we're gonna um, say print correct okay it's correct and we're gonna give him points so plus equals one um else print incorrect incorrect and we're gonna give him zero points um we need to have points somewhere i'm gonna do it here equal zero uh we're gonna move this over here okay mdf dot two and what did i do wrong Okay, yep, we're gonna ignore this line. So, press mark. Okay, yep. now we have two movies. Now we're gonna check the guess and get points. We're gonna throw in the guess, and the correct answer is zero because the first movie here is uh, the one that's correct. Okay, yep. and it's not checkpoints, it's it's check yes then we're gonna go do an elif um, so if it's the other way around if it's smaller it's smaller we're gonna throw we're gonna do check guess with the guess but we're gonna say one and else we're gonna say print correct and we're gonna give him points because if it if the movies uh, rating are the same we're gonna say correct and give him the point because that's how higher and lower game uh, works points plus equals one so why is it not getting red? Okay. But we have to do a global points because um, I did not mean to do global points because we're going to have to change it from outside of the function. And we have to do it also here global points because um, we're going to need to 
change this points. Okay, then I'm just gonna print uh, the results. Answers or just the correct answer. Okay, and we're gonna need a new function for that. And we're gonna um, say print uh, first movie, and yeah, I'm gonna say the name of the first movie. So movie one title, and we're gonna throw in dot values. Um, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, I'm gonna do one without values and one with values. So we're gonna close the bracket and then we're gonna say rating equals to, and then we're gonna do movie one dot values zero. And I'm gonna do the same for the second movie, but now I'm gonna. Um, Second movie, movie two, and here we're gonna do movie two. So if I if I skip doing the values here, I'm not gonna do values on these two. So correct answers. What's going on? Can only oh yeah, I'm gonna have to throw in. It has to be an nope it's not here it's also here i have to do a float because this is a float um but because um maybe you can't read it close enough So, because like here you can see that we're getting the index like this, and uh, then we get the title. This is what happens when we don't do values uh, zero. But if we do uh, value zero, like here, uh, you can see that it doesn't have the index. Does have it here for some reason because I did not say the correct one. This was supposed to be what I read. Like you can see, 6.5, but it has the index, but here's no index. So I'm gonna do the one list again. This is supposed to be like this. And one list. And like you can see, now that's gone. Okay, I'm gonna get it. No, this to and run. Like you can see, 6.5 and 5.5. And I said that the first movie I, I threw in zero. So I said the first movie is bigger, and that's correct. But I did not show the points. So your score is. And then we throw in points, and because we have it as a global variable, should work. Score six, yeah, because I'm never, okay, I'm gonna do one wrong, so it uh, should, so my score should now be zero. Yeah, incorrect, score zero. Then I'm gonna do, yeah, one, two, three, okay. It actually works, that's uh, fantastic next then we have to change the movies so we can just copy this line again to get new movies and um yeah and we have to do a global for this so global i'm gonna try it without global uh, movie one and movie two and like you can see uh, local variable reference before assignment, so you have to do the global version. 
movie one global movie two and this is supposed to be global yeah. so now we run it we can see my score is four but we don't want the same movie again and we change it here so uh, what we can do is um, I'm gonna show the I'm gonna create a dev show current movies and I'm gonna I don't want this I don't want this either print first movie um, and we're gonna do movie one title and like like previously values zero because we want the zero value and not the index then we go movie two and say here the second movie um, and then we have uh, show current movies and what's gonna happen first movie the fly second movie the conformist okay that's great but i don't want double spaces okay uh maybe okay it made it easier to read or maybe i just put yeah okay, okay let's just do it like this and um i'm gonna do So I'm gonna throw this again, so current movies, and I get the correct, and it shows it again. So now we want to do uh, something called clear, so let's Google clear. Jupiter cell output um, and we want make it easy to read we want this clear output so uh, iPad on dot display clear output and then we want this clear output way through inside of our function we want it maybe here so it clears uh, this and now this should work okay we do not want this again and okay now we want to do an guess equals input and we want to throw the guess inside so, first movie, Daylight, uh, second movie, Carnival of Soul. We're going to say uh, Carnival of Soul is bigger. That's correct. Okay. But we did not get uh, a new movie and we did not get a new guess. So, we're just going to throw this into a while loop. It's the basic one equals one uh, for loop and hopefully... Um, I'm gonna get something. So meet your black or waiting. Hopefully that's a movie waiting. Oh, isn't it Ryan Reynolds? Okay. Your score is three. Okay. But we also want here. Um, Okay, so now I'm also going to point to zero. Don't, I don't want to clean the points. Okay, now we can run, set it off, or water ship down. No idea. One. Correct. Okay, so the first movie set it off was 7.2, and the second movie was 7.2. That's great, because then we know that the third uh, if statement works. So if they're equal, then it's correct. And now we have Home Alone 3, 
or BMM or 8mm? I'm gonna guess the 8mm. That was correct. Okay, 5.3 versus 6.4. Okay, but now drill bit Taylor WhatsApp dog. Um, drill bit Taylor. Incorrect. Okay, that was 5.8, but the WhatsApp dog was 7.4. Okay, my score is zero. Now let's try to get a good score. Okay, Inferno. Okay, now maybe say, I don't know. Incorrect. Sinless list. It has to be sinless list, so zero. Student or cherry? Cherry, maybe? I don't know. Correct. Okay, so my score is two. Paul Mart, probably not. Correct. Okay, three. Manhattan Murder Spring or Hope Spring? Manhattan Mystery or Hope Spring? Hope Spring? Nope, incorrect. But like you can see, this is how the code works and uh, I will upload this code to GitHub so you can play with it yourself and just see it. And if you want to see more videos like this where I just code and uh, find new ways to uh, uh, find new projects and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will try to put more videos out. Thanks for watching.